You are a Satanist. What is that exactly? Well, maybe that's the biggest question, right? Um, my definition, uh, a Satanist is someone who has a veneration of Satan. Um, there's a lot of different people that call themselves Satanists. There's a lot of opinions about what the word Satanism is about, but I think the most broad sort of blanket definition is um, a religion or philosophy that includes a veneration of the character of Satan. And, and so are you as Satan one? Well, I don't believe in Satan as an actual thing. And most Satanists don't. Um, I'm an atheist um, if you hear the term modern Satanism ever, um, those people are atheists uh, almost universally. Um, there are, you know, I, th I would suspect very small amounts of people who are theistic Satanists who actually believe in the devil and worship the devil. We don't do that. Satan is a symbol for us. Um, so you're not a Satanist. I'm a Satanist, and Satanism is a religion that has existed since 1966, and it has always been atheistic. Um, it's, it's not an actual worship of the devil. We don't believe in that. So do you believe that Satan exists? The devil exists? No. I'm sorry? No, I do not. So you don't believe in heaven or hell? No. Do you believe... There is a God. No. And so have you always been a Satanist? Were you a Christian at one point? No, I was never a Christian uh, as a very young person, of course, when I was told the stories and introduced to the ideas. Um, I guess my small child mind just sort of took everyone's word for granted. They said something about God. I thought, okay, that's a thing. And But once I was old enough to sort of think about it, ask questions, seek out the answers, uh, I never really fell into Christianity. And so do you believe there is a God? I do not. And why not? Uh, I've, I've never had a reason to, I guess. Uh, like I said, when I was a kid, like most kids, I guess I was told a lot of stories. I was told there's a fat man that comes down the chimney once a year to give me presents. That's Santa told, Claus. That's not God. Right. Uh, that's just one of the stories. I was told that there's an Easter bunny that no, comes. You, are I you was saying told that you don't believe fairy. Santa Claus is this? I don't. I what was told the? all of these stories, just like I was told about God, and none of them really rang true for me. Really? And so if you don't believe there is a God... Who created you? Who created me? Yes. Who created you? Well, I assume you mean in like the grand universal sense? No, I want to know who created Joseph if you, Joseph, don't believe there is a God. I mean, I'm not sure if this is what you mean, but I know that my mother and father created me. And how did your mother and father create you? I suspect that in 1977, they were having sex. Right. So they had sex. And as a yeah. result, you came about. The only thing that happened then, your father put the bread in the oven and you came about. But who created you? Who, who causes you to breathe every day? That's a pretty um, inherent biological function of humans. Really? That's Seems amazing. To be. And so are you in control of you, yourself? As best I can be, yeah. Are you in control of yourself? Uh, yeah, for the most part. I mean, there's always parts of life that we're not in control of, right? But I'm generally in control of myself. And what part of life you're not in control of? 
I mean, unexpected things happen, right? You know, I had a, I had a small car accident recently. It was sort of out of my control. Amazing. So I'm a little confused because I don't understand, I, I don't understand why you call yourself a stationist and yet you say you're not a stationist. You are a, an atheist, right? Yes, I so am why an not, atheist. Go ahead. Um, why not just call yourself I, uh, an atheist? Why you have to call yourself evil? I don't find it to be evil. And I don't support evil. I don't enjoy evil. I don't do evil. And I've found that most Satanists do not. Um that's not really, it doesn't really have anything to do with being a Satanist. Really? And so I'm black and slow, right? You know how black people are, right? I'm black and slow. Explain to me why you came up with the title, the identity as Satan. Where did you get that from? Uh, well, in 1966, a man named Anton LaVey started the Church of Satan. And thus was born the religion of Satanism. So I didn't really come up with Satanism. Anton LaVey did. And thus began the religion of modern Satanism. Oh, so you just see it as a religion, which is not of Satan, but it's just a religion for you. Yeah, some people view it as a religion. Some people view it more as a philosophy. And to me, those are sort of interchangeable. And how do you uh, but, view it? How do you view, view it? Uh, really, there's little difference in the, the terms to me. You know, if it's my life philosophy, my moral code, my religion, they all sort of feel the same to me. And so, uh, and again, I'm black and slow, but it is to you, it's a religion or philosophy? Um, r truly, it's either. But yeah, I use the word religion. Yeah. Oh, okay. And what is the purpose of it? If it's not to worship Satan, what is the purpose of it for you? Uh, for me, and, and I think for most people, religion serves, whatever your religion is, religion serves to enhance your life. Uh, it gives you all of the things that we want religion to give us. In my case, it gives me uh, community and it gives me a way to express my morals and feelings about the world. And what are your morals? Well, um, that's a really broad question, you know, um, <laughs> But like you were asking earlier about supporting evil or, or anything like that. And like I said, that's, that's just not part of it. Um, I think Satanists, I can speak for myself. You know, I view myself as a good person. Uh, I try to do the right thing. Um, it doesn't really have anything to do with evil. And you say you view yourself as a good person? I think I'm a good person. I try my best. And what's good about you? <laughs> I mean, I think I think I'm kind. I I think I'm a good father. I think I'm a good friend to people when they need a, a good friend. Um, you know. I'm but those are things you do. What's good about you? I'm not quite sure what you mean. You said you're a good person. What's good about you? I mean, I guess at the very basic level, there's a lack of evil about me. Uh, I'm not out there trying to hurt anybody. I'm not really trying to do anybody wrong. And when you're doing these so-called good things for the, your, your child or children and your friends, why are you doing those things? Um, you know, it just feels sort of natural. You know, I've never given it a lot of thought. In the course of um, doing public actions related to Satanism, uh, I have a congregation called Satanic Delco. And really early on in our existence, we wanted to take on some charitable efforts in our county where we live and nearby areas. And one of the first things we did, maybe the first was a, a homeless outreach. And why and did so, you do that? 
Um, because it was summertime and the pandemic had started and we knew that there's a homeless population in Delaware County that was obviously suffering. And we thought, since we have numbers, since we have a, a group of us all sort of around one place, what can we do to be useful or helpful with this group? And one of the first things we thought was um, taking on a, a way to help the homeless population of Delaware County where we lived. So how did you feel and, about helping the homeless people? How did I feel about it? Yes. Um, I felt good about it. Uh, it felt like a, a doable thing that that would be beneficial to some and a way for us to test our ability to organize amongst ourselves and, you know, and execute you, a charity campaign. And you got a good feeling from it. Uh, sure. Yeah. So it was for you then to get the feeling that you were doing something good, right? Um, our thought was about helping people that needed the help. But also it was for you to get the good feeling that you were doing something good. I can't say that was part of our conscious motivation. Was it but, part of yours? But yeah. You say I'm yes? Sorry? You say it was part of it to get a good feeling that you were doing something good? Yeah, I think when you do something good for others, sometimes you get a good feeling. Amazing. And I'm happy to have it. And what causes you to have bad feelings at times? Well, all, I guess all the same things that make anyone feel bad. Sometimes you're lonely. Sometimes you're uh, thinking about the struggles of others. Sometimes things just didn't go well. Sometimes you get hurt. And those things make you feel bad. And so sometimes you feel good and sometimes you feel bad. For sure. Don't you think that's amazing? I do. Amazing. Do uh, satanic people have a Bible? Do you guys have a Bible? There is a book called The Satanic Bible, <laughs> and it was written by Anton LaVey, who I mentioned earlier. Right. And the book was published in 1969. And, and what do you guys discuss in your Bible, in your satanic Bible, satanic uh, Bible? Well, I should say... So Anton LaVey started that Church of Satan in the 60s and published the Satanic Bible. And that was more or less the way that the mainstream knew of Satanism for a long time, over 50 years, uh, until around 2013, when another prominent modern Satanic organization popped up. And, and there have been others in between. Right. Um, but there are sects of Satanism, um, denominations, if you will, um, different belief systems within Satanism, just like Christianity. Uh, so not everyone is really interested in the Satanic Bible, but um, I think most Satanism out there have at least good bits in common with the foundations of Satanism. Um, but I think the Satanic Bible is an important book and, and all Satanists should be familiar with it. And what, give me examples of what you study in the Satanic Bible. What do y'all talk about? What do you read in it? Um, Anton LaVey, his Satanic philosophy in a lot of ways was a real direct rebellion against Christianity. He leaned really hard in being just sort of anti-Christianity sometimes. And a lot of the values and things that Christianity represented, Satanism really sort of took the perspective of, of the opposite of that. For example, Anton wrote in the Satanic Bible that Satan represents indulgence instead of abstinence. And, you know, I'm sure you're familiar with the idea that Christianity in many ways sort of encourages abstinence. Right. Yeah. And Satanism really enjoys indulgence. And and that's what you learn from it? That's one, yeah. And so you uh, you believe in indulgence? I enjoy indulgence, yeah. 
And what? Food or what? Uh, all the things that make us feel good, sort of uh, <laughs> carnal pleasures. Oh, okay. Um, good food, good music, good everything. So the Christians believe there is a God. They believe right. God is this. But, and I'm still confused because you guys say you're Satan worshipers, right? You have a satanic yeah. church, you have, you enter the same thing. But how do you separate Satan from his own church? We don't, we don't believe in the existence of an actual Satan or God or Santa Claus or any of them. So why um, did you call it satanic? Because what does the word state, Satan mean to you? What's the definition of Satan? Uh, well, it means a lot of things. Some people view it what, as... What does it mean you know, to you, the word Satan? What does that mean to you? It's a, it's a, a character in literature that goes back many, many years. And who was the character? I'm not sure. I mean, the character is Satan. There was a character that was written about in religious texts. There's the character Satan appears in, you know, tons of fictional writings over the years. And is um, he good Sa or Satanists evil? nowadays, uh, many modern Satanists look to the Romantic era, uh, they call it Romantic Satanism, and it's not actually a type of Satanism. It's just, um, it's sort of a genre of literature, and there are books that are get sort of lumped into that, things like Paradise Lost. And so is Satan good or evil? Um, we view Satan as good, and the character of Satan is sort of the rebel against the tyranny of God in those stories. And do you believe those stories? I don't believe that the stories are true stories that happened. Um, but just like any work of fiction, you can take meaning from it. And um, that's amazing. So let me ask, when you do your hell Satan at church, at your Bible church thing, when you guys... Well, uh, uh, lifting up hands and hell Satan. Who are you doing the hell Satan to if you don't believe Satan is this? Um, when we are together and doing our big hail Satans like we like to do sometimes, uh, it's all about us. You know, very often if you if you spend any time around, you know, Satanism one way or the other, you'll surely see the phrase hail yourself or hail thyself. Uh, and that's really what it's all about. When we hail Satan, we're celebrating the ideas that make up our Satanism. Those are the things that feel good to us. And, you know, like I said, we don't, we don't believe in a Satan. It's a symbol to us. And we're celebrating all of what that symbol represents oh. in that moment. So you're saying that when you guys are doing the hail Satan on, 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 on late Saturday night in the wee wee hours of the darkness with candle mm -hmm. lights, yes. you, you're thinking that you are Satan. No, we're thinking that we're just, I'm just me. And I want to do the things that give me personal power, make me feel good. You know, and that's sort of the sentiment behind our Hail Satans. That's amazing. 